Hi, I'm Russ Mitchell and welcome to Eye to Eye. Katie Kirk is off today. Soldiers and their families at Fort Campbell, Kentucky have their own version of Dear Abby. Advice columnist Vicki Johnson, also known as Ms. Vicki, is helping families cope with the turmoil of military life. As Hattie Kaufman found out, Ms. Vicki knows firsthand the pain of watching a loved one shipped off to war. Working in mental health, um, I've had the chance to work with a lot of veterans who are civil service employees now. And they do report, hey, listen, we didn't have all this when I was in Vietnam or I was in the Korean War. You know, Miss Vicki, if you make people think they got problems, then they're going to think they got a problem. Uh. You know, and I was in Vietnam two or three years and they didn't have this for my wife and she's fine. Or, so we, we hear a lot of different things, but again, I just think we're recognizing you know, the need to support families and our service members. Um, if they know that their families are safe and doing well, then they tend to do well too. Were families fine back then or was it just something that was swept under the rug or that people just didn't, weren't aware of? See, I think it would be both. Um, you know, that things were, that you kind of kept a stiff upper lip and you, and you kept going. I think we progress so much more about mental health and about just different needs. So many things are more in the open now than it was back then. And it's to our advantage. Now tell me about your husband's deployment. Yeah. Wow, it was, uh, it, I, it was tough. It, it was tough. It was nothing that I was, I think I walked around in denial. I kind of kept saying, well, no, they won't deploy. It'll, the, it'll change. It'll change. But then, you know, the next thing you know, we're having all these family support meetings gearing up for deployment. And until the day that I said, you know, bye to him as he loaded the bus, it just hit me. I said, my goodness, he is really deploying. Um, and he's not coming back for a year. For a year. And, you know, Hattie, I was told, well, Vicki, you're in a better position because your sons are older. My sons really had a hard time dealing with the deployment because they were going through things in their own phase of life. Somebody was starting college. Somebody was making career changes and wanting to do something different. I had a son who was a senior in high school. So I had all that to face, and, and then a health crisis of my own at the time. What was uh, that? Doing that? I was diagnosed with thyroid cancer. Oh. Yeah, so when my husband was coming home for R&R, &R, uh, you know, of course we had planned to have this great two weeks, and I was going through surgery. That's the scar right mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. your thyroid. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So, and you had to deal with putting on a strong face for your boys. I did not showing your husband any fear because you want to be supportive for him mm -hmm. and yet you've got a health crisis yeah yeah that's that's how it was but then i meet so many other spouses who face the same thing so you know i always say two things that'll help you if you can have a good coping statement and a victory statement so my coping statement always is it could be worse because um, it could have been worse um, and my victory statement is I'm still here. 